Hello, I'm Darian Graham-Smith, PC Pro's Technical Editor. And I'm Barry Collins, Editor of PC Pro. This week we're looking at the Adobe Creative Cloud, uh, the new subscription-only uh, selection of applications and services uh, which replaces the old Creative Suite. Um, the subscription model's been a bit controversial, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's met with universal approval, mainly because you've got no choice now. You have to, if you want the latest version of Photoshop or any of the other apps and the latest updates, you've got to subscribe. And for many people, they don't want to commit to a £40, £50 pound monthly subscription. That is true, but for the time being at least, uh, CS6 remains on sale and Adobe says they'll support it indefinitely. Um, so the question is, I guess, um, is the upgrade so compelling that you'd really want it? Um, so what we've got here is we've got Photoshop CC, the very latest brand new version of Photoshop just came out this week. And we're just going to look at some of the new features. Now the, uh, the first new feature in Photoshop CC, which I think is, uh, is worth looking at, and it's the first one on, on Adobe's website, is an improvements to the sharpening tool. As you can see here, I have um, just a photograph, a holiday photograph. Um, it's a little bit grainy and speckly in the distance applying sharpening and it makes the speckles look sharper which is always a problem um, but now there's a new slider for reducing the noise and as you can see it really does a good job of cleaning up the areas that are supposed to stay clean while increasing the contrast um, around those parts which are supposed to be sharp and contrasty. I've got to be honest I didn't see a great problem with the last version of Photoshop sharpening tool but it, it definitely helps avoid those sort of horrible crunching noises and jags that you sometimes get on sharpening tools. Yeah, no, I really love that tool, actually. That's a great improvement. It sounds like a small thing, but if you work with photographs, it's going to make a big difference, I think. Um, the next thing that Adobe mentions is this new camera shake reduction feature, which you can use to, they say, salvage pictures which have been ruined by a shaky camera. Um, I'm not sure the results are, are all that great. Um, as you can see, it's very contrasty, it's very noisy. Um, I don't think you could really print that. No, and these days with optical uh, camera stabilisation in the lens or in the camera, it, it, you know, camera shake is becoming less of an issue. But obviously, if you've got the one shot and you've drastically got to rescue it, it, it might just do the job. Yeah. Um, another feature which um, I find quite interesting is um, when you resize a picture now, specifically when you blow it up, um, you can use, there's, there's a built-in noise reduction slider, which you can use. So if you need to make a, a, a small picture bigger, um, you can now clean up um, as you go. You get a live preview, so you can apply the, the, the level of noise reduction that you think is right. Um, sorry, I'm just going to do this here. Um, and as you can kind of see, when I um, drag this slider up, um, the, jagged, um, the jagged edges, you can see, what, sorry, when I move the picture around, you see the original pixels, and then when I release the mouse button, it kind of smooths it out. It turns chunky lines into smooth ones and does its best to tidy things up. I don't think, again, you could really print this necessarily on a billboard, but for a small size increase, um, maybe this could be useful. So for me, it looks like there's lots of small upgrades here, but nothing, no great compelling reason to, to suddenly jump aboard subscriptions. No, I think that's right. I mean, you know, Photoshop was already a very mature package, so it wasn't crying out for any particular enhancement. But I agree, it's hard to see, given the, the resistance we've seen to subscriptions, that this is going to tempt many people across.